Hi, uh, my name's Paulie, and today I want to talk to you about magnetic guitar pickups. Magnetic guitar pickups were used in some of the first electric guitars and are probably the most popular uh, type of pickup out there today. So let's see how this thing works. We'll take the cover off. And inside we have the pole pieces, which were visible before. And then we have this black material, which is the bobbin. Then we have a, a coil of wire, which is enamel coated copper. And there will be, be between four and 10,000 turns, something to that effect on there. And on this one, we have a magnet on the back, just a cheap ferrite magnet. And on the more expensive uh, single coils, the pole pieces will actually be the magnets and they will be made of Alnico or some other material like that. But on this cheap one, the pole pieces are steel and the magnetic field is supplied by this ferrite magnet. Okay. So, there is another type of pickup called the humbucker, which is, looks like this guy here. Um, these generally just remove this back plate. They have a magnet in the middle here. This one's a ferrite magnet. Some of them have Alnico and, and ceramic and other materials like that. And um, the pole piece is actually attached to the magnet. And what you'll find is on this one that this side will be north or south and this side will be south or north. One being north and south, say. And so this side will be south and this side will be north, something to that effect. On a single coil, you'll have one pole here, say north pole, and one pole down here, say south. Okay, and the lines of force will travel, lines of force, the lines of magnetic field will travel through the pickup like so, in every direction. So the, the most concentrated area of the magnetic field will be at the top of the mat of the pickup and at the bottom of the pickup. So let's get to the first little experiment just to show how they actually work. We'll introduce the multimeter. And we'll wire the multimeter up. Like so. And we need some sort of ferrous material. Say these pair of pliers here, they're magnetic. They're not magnetic to other ferrous materials. So this should interrupt the magnetic field and we should be able to see a, uh, a small voltage appear here due to the, the current being induced into the coil. So let's have a look at that. There it goes. Oh, we've got 137 millivolts there. So it's dancing around. If we hold it still, it goes back to nearly nothing. Which So we need the magnetic field to be changing to actually induce the voltage. And when the, the metal, as in your nickel wound string on your guitar moves, it induces a voltage. Okay. So let's hook this up to an amplifier and we'll have a look at something else. Hopefully it works. So in this instant, I'm going to use this tuning fork. Tuning fork's made out of a ferrous material. It's magnetic. So it should interrupt the magnetic field of the pickup. So I'll strike it. And there you go. 
it's picking up the movement in the metal of the, the tuning fork. Now, pickups are not designed to be microphonic. If they are, it's because these windings are loose. And the normal way to alleviate that is to, uh, to hot dip the things in paraffin, a mixture of paraffin wax and beeswax. Uh, there's a Seymour Duncan video out there uh, where they actually do it to uh, one of Slash's pickups. So, um, as you can see, it's not as loud on the sides, but when I move it to where the magnetic field's the strongest, whoops, it's loudest. Okay, so let's build a pickup. Let's turn the volume back down. Move this off to the side. We need a magnet. Yeah, we have a magnet there. We, we know that's magnetic because we've been testing it on everything. And we need some wire. Well, I've got this wire here. It's not exactly enamel coated copper, but it's copper nonetheless. And it's a hell of a lot thicker. So, um, if we wind this around, this magnet, this being the North Pole and this being the South, we should be able to wire it in a similar configuration to a, an electric guitar pickup and make our own guitar pickup. Just turning it around. Always seem to have trouble keeping this on here. Hopefully when I let this go, the, the coil just doesn't, like, burst out everywhere. Okay. So there we have, essentially, what a pickup is. It's a magnet inside a coil of wire. So, let's hook up. Our amplifier. And give it a test run with the tuning fork. Turn the volume back up. Now this won't be very efficient, won't be anywhere near as efficient as the single coil I just showed because this has got like 50 turns around it and to get more efficiency you need more turns in the thousands. <laughs> so this isn't going to be as efficient so it's not going to be super loud but you'll hear it. So as you can see, you can hear it there. And that's how, essentially how a, uh, a magnetic pickup works. So I hope you found this, this video enlightening and helpful um, in your quest to find out how an electric guitar pickup actually works. And... Uh, Please leave a comment or uh, any questions that you have down below and I'll endeavour to answer them. Have a good day. I'll see you later.